Hello everybody, it's me again. Uh, yeah, something different today. It's the Caronado Shorts 360. The most beautiful plane ever created. Just looks made to fly, doesn't it? It's beautiful. I actually like it. It's so ugly, it's beautiful, if that makes sense. Just love the wings on it. Love the shape of the curve of the top of the fuselage and how square the rest is. And the tail looks too small. Just wonderful. Look at the rivets and the reflection, the paintwork. That's incredible. I think that's what it would look like there in real life, eh? Whoops. Sorry. There. Yeah, this. That's what it would look like in real life, I'm pretty sure, with the paintwork bubbling and all the rivets. Incredible. So, yeah, disclaimer, I have to say it on all of my videos. This is to help people that don't know how to get this thing from cold and dark to in the air. That's all this is. It's not a tutorial, although the title will be to tutorial. But stop watching now if you're one of those people that make these comments I've seen. Disgusting comments on videos of people trying to help the community. Then comments come so ugly, vile comments. Yeah, be critical, that's fine, but do it in a nice way. Didn't your mama tell you to have some manners? Anyway, rant over. This is a basic video. I was thinking of flying this aircraft for the last couple of days, um, and then last night a friend asked me, how do you start it? Can you do a video on it? So I thought, oh, that's good timing. Yeah, okay, perfect. And uh, the problem is, I thought, no, I can't do it, because the only time I've ever flown this aircraft was using the cheat here, using the ready for takeoff state or ready for taxi state and hitting done and going flying. I realized I've never started it before. So good opportunity for me to learn. Um, then I came across two problems. First one is the checklist that I printed off from Caronado is great, but it's just damn way too long and I find it boring. I like to fly. And the second thing is this ground power unit it looks great here, but it doesn't actually work. So you're running the whole time on batteries, a bit like I think in the Saab and in the uh, Skyhawk I have. Battery, if you're not careful, the battery will just die on you. So I was halfway through the checklist twice and the battery died. So I thought, well, I'm never going to get through this to engine start before the battery dies. So guess what? Let's not use the checklist. Let's just do the essentials and that's what this is essentials I'm gonna be doing radios air electrics and engines and that's all I'm gonna do um, close the doors as well that might help so yeah there we go let's get inside oh by the way where are we Edinburgh nice flickering UK 2000 weather is off I think it's summer season maybe fall season about 8 o'clock in the morning 8 30 uh, yeah, Edinburgh, we're going over to Inverness. Let's have a little look at where are the helicopters around here. Yeah, all these helicopters going off to the North Sea over there somewhere. Way out on the oil rigs. The Beehive Tower, there we go. I love this airport because it's just such a mess. I think it was a small airport and then they've just added buildings. They've added buildings over there. They've added there. Nice new terminal. Buildings here, buildings there. Bit of a mess, really. All the helicopter parking. So we're going to go off to Inverness. So we're here. Connected to Navigraph there at Aberdeen Airport. We're going to take off on runway 16 to the south. Take a right turn. There's no SID into Inverness. There's no star. Uh, the only thing we're going to need as far as navigates go is the Inverness VOR. Because we're heading on the approach and we're going to land on runway 23. The approach comes in on the 288 radial inbound. So when we get to here we're going to vector. We're not going to try and be smart and fly this arc because I can't do it. I'm sure I could try but I'm not going to do it on a video. That's just suicide. So I mean from comments. So I'm just going to fly in here and I'm going to vector onto the ILS. Anyway, the shorts I'm sure wouldn't fly a 10 mile arc. That's at the speed it flies. So that's that's it. Anyway, the video might not get that far. I might just get to cruise. 
So the aim of the video is um, cold and dark start and autopilot and that's it. Okay, so should we close the doors first? Yeah, door panel is over. No, no, we've got no battery on. Okay, reset. Oh, by the way, I do have the um, Garmin GTN in here. Oh yeah, another point about the cockpit. I think this is with tomato. Uh, a lot of VCs are very dark. I mean, you you can edit that in Tomato uh, in the Reflection Maker, but I just prefer to stick on uh, two dome lights that I made with spotlights. You know, it looks great. By the way, look how nice this VC is. And it, it gets me a little bit when people say, "Oh yeah, Coronado, they just look good, but they're crap." Well, it's like they just look good, but it's like, well, looking good is good, isn't it? So, at least take that as a positive. And I think this thing flies quite well. The autopilot works okay. Most of the systems buttons work here. The 3D modeling is awesome as usual. Uh, I think it's incredible. Uh, the cabin as well. I think we can open the door there, go through into the cabin. I wish it was cargo. That's why there's... Um, not why there's no passengers. What am I talking about? Anyway, I wish it was a cargo version. Oh, look at that VC. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's get going. We need... I think we need the electrical master switch to internal, but it says in brackets ground services, so I'm a little bit confused about that one. But let's put the batteries on. Parking brake is on. Yeah, very good. Well checked. Now you can see in here things are starting to spool up now we've got the door warning lights over here so the red lights so let's close them up just check the lights go out good close cargo doors should be two of those yeah passenger doors good yeah I've done about five or six flights in this but never cold and dark so this is my first time well Apart from trying to do the checklist this morning until the battery is died. Arr, what else are we going to do? Let's turn on the Garmin. We're not going to use it, but it looks pretty. We can use it for taxiing. For the taxiways. Uh, we're going to use the radio. Um, like I say, from my flight before, it saved the 109.2 uh, in the nav here. That was uh, the VOR. 109.2 into Inverness. Okay. Actually, probably need the 328 um, ADF in there too. Sorry, the NDV, NDV, but which is over here, I believe. Yeah, what was that? Um, uh, probably not going to be able to tune this now live on TV. <laughs> 328. How are we going to do that? Three. How do you do the middle one? Oh, it's a pain, isn't it? How do you do the middle one? Uh, come on. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? You can get three, but... 308, but you can't get 328. Come on. You know you want to. Hundreds. Come on, talk to me. Hundreds. Ones. Hundreds. Ones. Where's the tens? Anyway, let's skip that. So we got batteries on. Uh, we I'm kind of not really following the checklist here, but generators should be on. We've got volts. That's good. Um, shedding bus. We need those at some point, so we'll get those. And the idea here is we're getting green lines instead of the yellow lines. So stick the inverters on too. We've got volts. Ground services bus. They can stay yellow for me. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. Quickly. Oh, we've got some power now, so let's put on the nav light that we put on. This is the air conditioning panel here. We'll come back to this after the start, but just... I know the fans are off. Everything's yellow, so that's good for the engine start. Okay, righty-ho. Little pre-start checklist. Flaps are up. Condition levers back, prop levers back. Good. So, what we need boost pumps 
I'm sure maybe you could do these individually for one engine and then repeat for the other one, but I'm going to kind of shortcut and put both the ignitions on. So fuel pumps, fuel boosters, on. Sorry, master start. We need that to armed, which is down. Not up, down. Okay, start again. Boost pumps, <coughs> ignition, start engine two first. Start. Sounds good. Let's put the fuel to ground, which is this little mark here. Let's see how far I push it forwards. Good. Torque is rising. Fuel flow is rising. Excellent. Prop should be going round. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Next engine, we've got fuel pump on, ignition is on, start. Very simple. Wait a few seconds. Condition lever. Let's put the fuel in. Fuel is in, torque is up, ITT rising, fuel flow is rising. Oil temp is rising. Pretty much it. Um, we're going to turn off the ignitions. Um, don't need any anti ice. Put the window heat on and veto heat on. Lights. Going to put the seatbelt no smoking strobe and beacon light on. And we're going to go over to the air conditioning panel and we're going to put the master fan on and the recirculating fan. The gasper fans. I think that's what we should do because it's gone green. This is ground air intake. Well, we're not using ground power. I think we're done. Yeah, I'm going to save a little bit of time here, of course. Um, just get our nav set up. Yeah, DME is switched on, but we're not picking up the VOR yet. We've got the right frequency, 109.23 MNS. We couldn't tune this here at the moment. Come on, I'm going to have another quick go at this. We need 328. Going a bit closer. How do we get tens, anybody? No, 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 no. Got to be somewhere. Somewhere around here, isn't it? Spot. Anyway, not working. Yeah, there's got to be a way. I've never I've just I've flown it enough. I've used the I've used the VOR for that. Anyway, here's the panel lights looking awesome. I think it looks amazing. Look at the overhead. Look at that. Just fantastic. Beautiful aircraft. All right, we're set to go. Oh no, we're not set to go. We need to set the radial 288 into Inverness. We'll pick that up, I'm sure, once we're in the air and a little bit closer. Very soon, I hope. Uh, one Runway 16, we said we were going from. So we'll stick the heading, flying the runway heading for a little while. 160. All good. Now, of course, Hello, we're going to climb to 8,000 feet. We've got no weather on, so we've got the barometer set to 1013. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, we'd normally push back, of course, on this stand. As we do, we're just going to taxi straight through the coast and through the um, through the crates, as you do, just to save time. Of course, we don't want to be messing around with GTA, um, GSX and a pushback. When I could be teaching you. All good. Frames are good as well. Um, 38, 35 to 45 frames a second. Really good. Yeah, a lot of props can get away with uh, get away from you on taxi. I'm at idle here, and this thing can get away from you. 
just have to keep tapping on the brakes. And again, you could argue it's unrealistic. The plane would never fly away like that. Yeah, the way I see it, it's um, pixels moving on a screen. I don't feel what power I need to get those pixels moving. I'm moving my joystick to X position and it moves. If I have to move it to Y position and it moves, it doesn't change my life. It's good enough for me. So, taxi around here. I think it's a bit of a twist and a turn. Yeah, we're on a little bit of a twist and a turn here, aren't we? Let's do shortcuts. coming on. So, we're looking good. We need to do, uh, we need to, let's do the takeoff checks. Save time. Taxi lights I forgot, all the lights are on. Good. Transponder. Looks like it's off. Put that on in a second. Let's get lined up on the runway. Yeah, this thing really can fly away from you. But I don't care because I like it. Um, we're ready to go. All we need to do is mess about with the props and condition levers a little bit before takeoff. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with the prop condition and uh, condition levers, but. Got a little bit of an idea. Ready to go. Love it. Now, people say somebody made a comment on one of my Facebook threads a few weeks back. Yeah, all Carinata, they're just copy and paste, same sound, same gauge as well. And listen to the sound in a moment, it doesn't sound like anything else, Carinata. So, I'm going to put these two condition levers to flight. Props up, listen to this. Beautiful. Wow. They're nice. Yeah, but they all sound the same. Yeah. Sounds the same as the Fokker and the Saab. Not in my world. And the gauges, this is a cost custom gauge here, this. Yeah. Anyway. No ranting. Oh yeah. The transponder was off. Okay, here we go. Ready to go. Oh, I forgot the right rudder trim. Ah, oh, it's doing okay. It's more in the climb. It tends to yaw to the left. Or roll to the left. So I have a little bit of rudder trim. Okay, 100 knots, 110 knots. Pull her back. So now she's trimmed up. Beautiful gear up. Just trim I'm gonna bug speed bug here to I'm gonna get her to 180 in the climb. So pull back a little bit on the props. I'm gonna over talk them. I'm gonna climb at I'm going to climb, I'm going to try the IAS speed, so we'll get to that in a moment. Bring the props back to 90 in the... Let's bring it to 90 in the climb. It should work. Yeah, I took off without flaps. Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, autopilot. Um, climbing... I'm going to just trim it to 1,000 feet a minute. about what I want to hold now, a thousand feet a minute. So we'll go down here and get the your damper on, autopilot on. And that should hold the vertical speed a thousand feet that I give it. What we need now is heading select. We need alt select. So we level off at 8,000 feet. And I normally climb here at vertical speed, which I'll put on here, vertical speed, it'll hold vertical speed. If you need to go up and down, we use this little button here. Let's zoom in a bit. And tooltips help you. About 1,200 feet.
wait a minute at the moment, let's push forward, so scroll forward with the mouse, say 8,000, 800 feet a minute, sorry, Caronado doesn't work, look, piece of junk, oh, well, look at that, it didn't work, yeah, perfect, 800 feet, so let's put it back to 1,000 feet a minute, and uh, now I'm going to try in IAS mode, and this should pitch down now. We're flying well south here, aren't we? Should pitch down to increase the speed to about 180, and then hold that. I'll just let that level up on speed before I spin spin the heading round. All right, looking looking quite good. All right, let's. Heading mode with the AP on. Let's do initial heading of. We need to intercept the 288 radial, so we're probably left of that at the moment. So let's do course of 320, or heading of 320. And I'm expecting to pick up the VOR any minute in the next couple of minutes. So I think we're good. Lights off, landing lights, taxi light off, rest can stay on. And I think I'm doing okay. Oh, the VOR's picked up, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's a good intercept radial there, that's great. Yeah, the IS is not quite working there, but exactly, well, it's working, but not exactly holding the speed we wanted. Let's say the tooltip here. Speed hold 179. Let's decrease, no, increase and see what happens. So I've commanded, commanded 200. Oh, look at that speed increase. Pitch it down, that's super. I like that. Yeah, working well. Of course, to get the speed, it's going to pitch down and it doesn't know that you want to climb. It's, well, it doesn't. It just, it's going to get the speed to what, what you want. You see, it sort of undershoots this a little bit. You can see that. So, just for future reference. Excellent. We're all good. The only thing we need to do now is hit nav mode. So, it'll hold heading of um, 288, no, 320, the heading, and then when we intercept the radio, it will turn inbound. And we are. 144 miles away this speed it will take us 45 minutes so what do you want to talk about for 45 minutes now I think I've cut the video short in a moment uh, just to say it works um, you can see IAS here at that speed it can't climb very much so let's stick it back in vertical speed which I prefer anyway pull it back to Let's say 800 feet a minute. Have a thousand. And I'm just going to show you. She'll level off. Let's reduce the altitude set to 6,000, and that should level off in a minute. Looking good. Everything's good. Everything's looking great. Let's zoom out on the uh, map here. Really need to declutter this, don't I? Yeah. So there's the autopilot tutorial and some cold and start dark. Thanks for watching. Just gonna hang around for a moment. Just gorgeous that, eh? Hey? Look at that. Super duper. Yeah, the reflection profile I installed from Mo Textures. You just search Mo Textures, you'll find it really good profile but I did find the props didn't work when they were turned on it was you could see all the blades and they looked unrealistic <laughs> so I just went in the tomato um, profile editor and edited the profile what I did was just take off uh, PBR on the props there's two prop texture files I think that's what I did and it works fine now so here we come, 
There we go, pitching down should level off at 6,000 feet. Wonderful. I like the aircraft. Where are we here? What? Are we getting close to our radio? Yeah, we're getting close. We need 288. Great, thanks for watching. I hope it helps. Any questions or kind comments? Um, I'd be appreciated. Kind criticism is always welcome. Thanks.